if I have a, this green on my face, then you know that new unmatched sets are here. What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and yes of course we have some new unmatched sets, not one but two, uh, still today we are going to talk about Redemption Row and in the next video we are going to talk about Hell's Kitchen, so today we are going to uh, talk a little bit about this, you know that I love Unmatched, from the moment I played my first game of Unmatched I knew I want to have everything except that Buffy set for some reason, but I'm, I'm still on a verge, do I want to buy it or not? But nevertheless, uh, new unmatched set is here and it has a Marvel IP on it, both of them. So yay, let's get down to the table. Let me show you what you get inside this box. And uh, before we do that, uh, do check out these numbers because this is uh, the, lots of you who are watching these videos are not subscribed. So you are that bigger number up here. So, uh, Try to be that lower number, yeah, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's continue with the video. Okay, uh, let's check out Redemption Row. Of course you get the rules, the rules explain you how the game plays and all the specialties of all the characters that uh, they have because with these Marvel sets they really went far with all kinds of different abilities. And again, you get a map as you can see, you can put those tokens. You can put tokens over here that you will be able to use. That's the new specialty for the map that we are going to talk a little bit about later. And yeah, on the other side, it's basically the same map, but just with the circles. Again, I will uh, moan about it because I really wish they gave us uh, like a second map of something different to do. I know you can't make infinite maps, but still, I would really wish that they, because I really like this side more, to be honest. So yeah, that's it, but still, great, great things overall. So these spaces over here, you will be putting these tokens on them, and these tokens will, as you can see, help you to get either attack, use them as either attack or defense, or as these like uh, one-time abilities over here, it explains you what it does. So yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you have another set that, uh, Hell's Kitchen set, and I presume some other maps that will come up in the future, they say you can uh, mix and match these however you want. So you can just keep them in a bag by their type and just draw them out of the bag and put them on a board. And each time you'll have something different going on. Okay, so first of all, we have a Moon Knight. Moon Knight, uh, as you can see, only Luke Cage has a sidekick. Nobody else has a sidekick in this set. And uh, we get a Moon Knight with a 16 health and his special ability is that he's going through personalities. So he will he will be Konshu, then on the next turn Mr. Knight, then he will be the Moon Knight, then Konshu again, then Mr. Knight again, and around and around he goes. Uh, artwork is absolutely awesome and uh, playing him is really fun, you know, going through these characters. We're going to talk a little bit more about it later, but yeah, the artwork is pretty Moon Knight-ish, if I may say so. Then we have a Luke Cage with, with the Misty as, as his sidekick, and she's like one of those regular sidekicks that starts with seven health, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just quickly check, six. She starts with six health, and uh, Luke Cage starts with 13. And uh, his special ability is that he can block two, uh, at, he has two defense each time, if he, even, he doesn't even have to play card. So if you play two attack, it's just wasted on him, you can just use it for ability, but nothing else much. And these are his cards, and he has some really nasty cards, some really great, great cards. And he has lots of defense cards, so he's really tough to kill. Sort of, we're gonna talk a little bit about it, because we are now going to talk about uh, the Ghost Rider, that I have some problems with, and I will talk, go into details about it a little bit later. He has the ability so he can spend one of these tokens. He has five of these uh, tokens. Uh, these are called uh, uh, five Hellfire tokens and he can spend these to get movement for it and then drive through you and deal you one damage. And Luke Cage can't stop, for example, that damage. He can only stop damage from attacking cards, not from the abilities. But yeah, uh, really thematically nicely done cards. The Penance Stair, of course, you need to have a card called the Penance Stair. 
so yeah that's the that's the ghost rider stuff and of course i need to show you the miniatures themselves of course these miniatures come unpainted so these were painted by me you can find videos on my channel on how you can do this it's pretty easy straightforward the videos are like they can uh, explain you like in four or five minutes how to paint the miniatures so we have a luke cage i always want to say johnny cage mortal kombat is all non-stop in my head when i you know, hear cage so we have a moon knight which looks really cool with his cape in a shape of a moon stuff you know and bases of course come with this sort of like something going on on them like a terrain or stuff i don't like it personally in the in board games i like when the bases are black and of course we have the ghost rider really cool miniature really cool like on a bike it looks a little bit whoa oops okay nothing broke <laughs> it looks a little bit weird him coming out from the base with his bike but once you get used to it he looks really epic so yeah basically that is that that's everything that comes in a box of uh, redemption row okay, so that was redemption row a new unmatched set with the marvel ip now to be honest i have to be completely honest i kind of don't like these i different ips on uh on a like this marvel or dc if they show up in the future stuff like that it feels weird for animation it's not that i don't like it it just feels weird for some strange reason i like the stuff like you know invisible man sherlock holmes bruce lee robin hood some of like like a myths and legends parts like red riding hood beowulf i know that all of those are not myths and legends they some of them did exist in the in the past uh, but but still i think you catch my drift uh, superheroes in essence in unmatched feel weird to me i still loving i'm still loving everything i see and i'm still gonna get everything i see but i would wish more like uh, i just uh, found out that houdini versus uh, i don't know who right now is coming up that's the stuff i like give me that and you can give me dinosaurs i uh, after i'm finished filming these videos i'm going to pick up the t-rex and settler uh, edition it just came into my local gaming store which is awesome but yeah let's talk about redemption row redemption row uh, one more time as you saw the miniatures are painted you can find those videos on my channel usually i post the review of the game once i posted all the painting videos and uh, those are getting strangely popular i think it's because they are like super short three four maybe five minutes videos i keep it very simple straight to straightforward easy to understand how you need to paint and uh, what you need to do to have your miniatures look somewhat decent these are not prize winning looking miniatures but they definitely look better than gray plastic so yeah redemption row we get moon knight we get luke cage we get knight rider uh so knight rider <laughs> ghost rider okay not sure why did i say knight rider but yeah ghost rider so first of all luke cage I'm the least familiar with it. I know that there was a TV show, but I didn't watch it. It just didn't sit well with me. But he's fun to play. He's very interesting. He has this, like, a constant uh, thing where he has uh, two uh, of the two. He can block two damage every time you attack him, except for the special attack, like the normal attack from the cards, like from normal attack and defense. Uh, he always blocks uh, two damage besides whatever you played which is insane which is awesome he's very tough he's very very hard to hit he's very hard to kill unless you are playing with the ghost rider and that's uh first time that i kind of dislike the character some of them you know sit better with you some of them are not like that good but ghost rider special ability says if he spends one of those his tokens he can he gets the move four and he ever, whoever he gets through, he deals one damage. And I was playing Luke Cage against Ghost Rider. And uh, to be honest, uh, my friend who's playing always with me, uh, tried first to go head to head with me and he had no chance. Luke Cage was way stronger. But then he discovered if he just drives through me and every time he spends those five tokens, he just plays a few cards, maybe one or two cards, just uh, risks some damage. And... Uh, 
and he will just regain back those tokens and he will then just drive through me and what he did entire game was just driving through me and just doing me one by one by one damage until I was dead which is I to be honest it's a poor uh, I mean the game allows it the game allows that to be done so I and there's really no other way for at least that we saw for, for the Ghost Rider to win besides just driving left and right. Of course, against ranged characters that would be kind of uh, kind of toned down a little bit because, you know, he constantly would just drive through me. Then I would have to uh, spend one turn just running toward him and then hit him. He has, of course, some defense cards. And Luke Cage has lots of defense cards. So at one point, I had like a hand of five cards and they were all defense cards and I couldn't attack him, you know. And uh, when he's driving through you, you can't defend against that. You have to take one damage. My psychic was killed almost instantly. Not instantly, but you know, he took like six turns to kill it, stuff like that. So for some strange reason, I really didn't like how the Ghost Rider works. I mean, they, it, it, it's sort of thematic, yes, but I really didn't like how he works and how his ability can be somewhat abused for, I mean, that's like, it was so boring to play with and even my friend said I'm playing this only because I'm trying to win. I mean, you always play because you try to win, right? Of course, you want to have fun in, in the process, but you're playing to win, of course. So he did play for a win and he saw as the only tactic. I saw it as the only tactic, so I, could, I couldn't uh, some, uh, because I left the comment on the Facebook group and somebody said, your friend is bad if he's playing like that. No, he's not. That was a viable tactic. That was the ability given to him by his cards. He didn't like cheese out and bought some new extra abilities. That's what he got. That's what he was dealt with. And he need to play accordingly. So I really didn't like Ghost Rider. And it's a shame because the miniature looks great. Even though I'm a more fan of that uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, version this is I think some some different version just due to the bike that he's riding but I'm really not sure uh, I'm not that familiar with the lore and of course we have a Moon Knight uh, as the last third figure Moon Knight is uh, very interesting to play he's super fun because he's constantly changing through those uh, different uh, personalities and uh, you have to be really good at timing what you want to do at what moment you know you know that uh, the one that boosts your attack not sure which one really right now is he is but the one the one personality that boosts your attack then you want to get ready then you want to get into the fight and when those other characters are playing when you are more on defense you want to draw some cards prepare your hand you know when attack when the time comes to attack you can attack and he's really awesome to play of course, this is the first time that we have three miniatures in a, in a set, which is somewhat weird because you get mapped for four players. I mean, of course, there's Hell's Kitchen, as you saw at the, at the start of the video, but yeah. Uh, all in all, I think it's a good set. If you would ask me, uh, would I buy this or Hell's Kitchen first because they kind of, they were released in the same time, I would say Hell's Kitchen 100 times because the, the characters are way more fun to play. But uh, this is by far not a bad box. I like it, except as I already talked a lot about the Ghost Rider thing. But uh, uh, besides that, I think it's a, it's, a great, it's a great set. It's unmatched, you know? And uh, I, think, I think that uh, for now, I will just keep my Marvel sets apart from or I like superhero sets apart from every other set just superhero sets on one side and everything else on the other side just for now because I can I don't know they they just feel weird to incorporate you know like uh, Daredevil versus I don't know T-Rex for example or, or I don't know Sinbad it feels weird but Pitting them against other superheroes, I can see that. So yeah, all in all, Redemption Row, it's a really great set. It's two out of three for me with these characters. But still, I would highly recommend if you like Unmatched to get this one, if nothing else. Oh, I forgot to talk about the most different thing from each, every other set is the maps. The maps now have like these tokens that are uh, spread around the map and uh, around the board. And uh, you can pick them up for all kinds of different things, for defense, for attack. You have these like uh, uh, 
uh, one time or one off thing every every one of them is one off thing but some of them will help you like move get extra boots all kinds of different things and you can mix and match those tokens with uh, the board so you can just put them everything in one big bag and just draw and place them on the board so this is really really uh, interesting for the new maps I like it I would even use it with every other map because it it's, it brings a little bit more of uncertainty in, in a game and I like that so yeah the new maps with those tokens spread around like those like you have a like a payphone that you can take and over hydrant I think the fire hydrant and you can like throw at the other opponent deal him two extra damage or use it as a shield for two uh, defense stuff like that but yeah awesome maps awesome expansion unmatched go check it out uh, that is all thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing for considering subscribing and uh, yeah do join me next time when we are going to review hell's kitchen unmatched and after that some other unmatched set who knows whatever unmatched set comes by next and uh, until then pause it up